It's Crewman here. So in this video, I'm going to try my first ever motherboard repair. So, long story short, I have a buddy who uh, has bought some graphics cards from me. I met him on my Discord, and he uh, he asked me if I could try to repair his, his Strix Z690 board. I said, I've never done it before, but I've always wanted to try a socket repair. Bet either by fixing the pins or by replacing the whole socket itself. And I said, uh, let's do it. So I'm going to try this right now. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to probably pop the socket off and try to bend the pins back to get, try to bend the pins back. Um, he gave me a, he gave me a 12700K to see if I can get it working as a tester. So uh, here we go. So I don't know if you can see it here, but the first thing I just did was remove the socket, or not the socket, the... Uh, CPU bracket right here took that out and I'm trying to take a look at the damage hope I can get a good enough angle for you to see so I'm gonna try to bend all these pins back to back I think if I use tweezers and magnifying glass I can pull it off and then we'll see if I can post it all right so I think there might be some minor damage. Uh, I'm actually just going to try to put the CPU in and I'm going to try to put a cooler on it and I'm going to try to see if it posts and we're going to see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is one of those things where like AMD pins, they don't look pretty, but as long as you can get the contact points in, they'll work. So we're going to try this and just hope it posts. I'm back. I reattached the socket. Uh, the socket lock put the CPU in and uh, I didn't have a cooler so I took an LGA 1151 cooler I uh, took the fan off gonna leave it plugged in just to see how it spins put the heat sink on it should be fine just to get into the BIOS uh, didn't realize it had so many six to eight pin slots for the CPU I um I've never used uh, a newer L a newer Intel board as I've been mostly working on AMD lately so it's plugged in and happens. Uh, all right, I'm back. So I had a few errors with the, the RAM, but nothing with the CPU. So we're going to try it one more time and we're going to see if I can post it. All right, so it's on. Okay. There's no light. A white light. All right, that doesn't seem like a bad thing. Nothing on the screen yet. So, all right, I'm back. So the next thing I, I would always recommend, by the way, is everybody have one of these tester GPUs. Uh, this is like a 710 I ordered on Zotac by mistake. I've probably said it before, but it's the greatest thing ever. So we're gonna try to boot it up again and just double check the picture, play around with the BIOS, be right back. All right, guys, so I mean, it looks like it works. I mean, I. Th it looks like I can get into the BIOS. Um, I don't really see any issues. I'm just gonna try to hit enter. I wanna play around with it. And he said it couldn't get into the BIOS at all. So, I th I think I fixed it. I mean, that's pretty cool. I've never really done this before. So, uh, I think we're gonna call this a successful repair. The fans ramping up. Which means the GPU is probably getting a little hot. 69 degrees. I'm uh, probably going to turn it off. But yeah, I, I think forgot to mention, as you're preparing these pins, you want to just take you, your elbow and you want to be very gentle. And you want to bend them in the same direction. You don't want to pull them too hard. You just want to bend them. Like I said, it doesn't, look have, it doesn't have to look pretty like this. It just has to work. So I think that's your best bet. You just... Again, this is my first time, so maybe I'll find a better way, but you just slowly bend them into place with tweezers. You don't want to push too hard. You just kind of want to gently, like, you know, like Happy Gilmore would say, tap it in. So, yeah, this is my first Intel bent socket pin repair, and it looks like it's a good one. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty thrilled about it. There's nothing else to really say, except if you'd like to see more of this content, please like and subscribe, and leave a message down below in the comments if you'd like to see me attempt something else. Uh you know, be it a socket repair or anything like that. And I'll try to find the parts and I'll try to make it happen. Again, please like and subscribe. It really helps. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys watching. Crewman out.